hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back hi baggies anyways don't mind me um today i'm gonna do my first time tag i watched this on a one uh, on a nigerian youtuber's video and i was like actually this is a good idea i don't know if it's similar to the new youtuber tag but um yeah i actually liked it so i was like you know what i'm just going to recreate it on my channel and hope you guys like it i'm going to put her link down there in the description box so in case any of you wants to watch her video you can just click and that is it so um let's get started let's get started guys um my first thought today my first thought today was that <laughs> i need to shoot a youtube video today i need to shoot a video for my youtube channel so here i am trying to be consistent and i hope um to continue to be consistent on my channel because <laughs> this is no joke um my first language so if you watched my previous video you know that um, i moved from spain to the uk so i was brought up in spain so basically i consider spanish my first language because basically i did my, all my education there i did my um primary secondary and higher levels in spain so um i actually consider it as my first language i think in spanish i still speak spanish like as if i was born in spanish um yeah yeah it's part of my life i sing in spanish so yes spanish is my first language for me and for my siblings um first time in a ship first time in a ship first time in a ship was in spain and it was kind of scary at the beginning it is scary at the beginning you know why Go and ask your grandfather. After watching Titanic, why won't you be scared, Tom? Why won't you be scared? No one wants to die, especially if you don't know how to swim. I don't know how to swim, but Titanic wasn't. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you understand, but yeah, I was actually scared. But now I don't mind. I don't mind. my online picture my online picture right my online picture on instagram and twitter are different so i'm going to try and put them in the video and um, for you guys to see my online pictures at the moment My first tattoo or piercing, my first tattoo, I don't have a tattoo. If you've got African parents, you know what to think about it. Sorry, excuse me. But I've got piercing, I've got this one and this one. And it was no joke when my parents found out about it. Like, guys, guys. That is a whole story time when they found out about my piercings, but yeah, no tattoo to piercings at the moment. Um, my first pet, I'm not a pet person, I'm not an animal person, mm -mm, they're not for me at all. I don't like animals, so I'm sorry, none. My first car. My first car is a Toyota. I'm still driving it. I'm still driving my Toyota. But um, yeah, that is my first car. Um, first app you take when you wake up. The first app I take when I wake when I wake up. The first app I take when I wake up is my Instagram. I don't know. I always receive messages there. So yeah, 
on Instagram for sure. First time I ever got into trouble at home or school. See. <laughs> See guys. I have to think about. Okay, I'm going to say this one about school. So it was my first year in secondary school in Spain, obviously. So I already passed all my um I already had my grades, I passed everything. So I was just in a really good mood and that time I don't know if they do it here in the if they used to do it that here in the UK but at that time at school what we used to do is you know when you stand up from your chair you to meet a teacher or to go and drop something in a bin. So we used to put um a push pin on the chair like the place where the needle is. It's a needle. I don't know, you understand, on top of the chair. So once you sit back you not you notice a little pinch on your bum. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this because the person, the teacher then was like kind of like a new um, teacher. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because what's what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Nothing. I've got my results. I'm in a good mood. I'm gonna have the sum of my life. You know, let's play a bit. So what I did, I grabbed two push pins. pins and I put it on this guy's um, chair he didn't notice bless him and when he sat down he stood up he jumped from his chair and I was started laughing and then he went to the teacher he was like oh see what she puts on my chair this is this and the teacher called me and I was laughing and he was like did you put this on his chair I said yes I don't know how to lie guys like well, if you just catch me, I'm just going to say the truth. I, I don't know how to lie. I'm not a good liar, if you know me. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, it was like, he, um, did you put this on his chair? I was like, yeah. I was still laughing, and they gave me like a warning home for my parents to sign. My parents never signed it. No, they never signed it. <laughs> and I gave it to them because then I was playing basketball. So I gave it to my coach then and he was reading it. When he was reading it, I was laughing. And he was like, but this is not funny. I was like, yeah, but I just think that is hilarious. I still laugh about it up to time. I'm so sorry. I know I shouldn't. But it's funny. I'm sorry. Um, first plane ride you ever went on. My first plane ride I ever went on was from um, Nigeria to Spain. It was scary. I was eight years old. It was scary, especially when it was taking off and when it is landing. You know that sensation when your body's like, ah, yeah, yeah. It was scary at the beginning, but now I enjoy it. I can't wait to travel after all this lockdown. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to have a proper holiday. So, yeah. Um, first foreign country you have ever visited? I wouldn't say Spain because obviously I was living in Spain, if that makes sense. But, first ever country I ever visited on my own was Portugal. It was amazing. Portugal is an amazing country. It is cheap. The weather is lovely. People are wonderful. You have the best time of your life if you go to Portugal. First broken bone. My first broken bone. I've ever had a broken bone in my life. Touch wood. But I've got a fracture on my right knee and unfortunately it's never going to heal yeah but yeah I've never I've never had a broken bone so guys that is all my first time questions I hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button I hope you guys like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.